Good morning you guys and welcome to Vlogtober Day 6. How are we almost a week in? But yet at the same time it feels like it's been going forever. <laughs> I think it's because now that I make purely vlog content there isn't really much of a split with me apart from the fact that now I'm uploading every day. I'll be honest with you, I'm not the most awake person this morning, but I'm up, got dressed, got my coat on, and I'm actually going with my nana to some shops local to us to have a look around, see if there's anything that we want to get, potentially for people, and um, we're going to go there, probably take a couple of hours to like look around because there's quite a few shops. The only thing that I can think of off the top of my head that I want to do today is I want to want to I want to want to want to want to I want to work on more peach topper drawings. But other than that, don't really have any solid plans for the rest of the day. I've done that thing again where I'm shopping for everyone else, but I've bought something for myself. <laughs> Nothing gives me baby fever like looking at baby clothes. Kids, not baby fever. Clothes, baby fever. Just got home. And now I'm gonna have something to eat because it's about half past one and I haven't had anything to eat yet today. So this is probably gonna look a little bit strange right now because I'm wearing a purple jumper. But whilst I was out, I called into Matalan because there's one near where I live and I saw this gorgeous knitted beanie in this gorgeous colour which, same as I said, looks very strange right now because I'm wearing a purple jumper. I've done it again. I do this every year. I'm buying for other people's Christmas presents and I always see something and end up buying it for myself. I actually have a trip planned with Katie um, and I will be taking this with me. Hopefully my hair will be sat a bit better then. But I also bought more Christmas presents today for people. And I've actually done a large bulk of my Christmas present buying now. I've still got things to buy um, for people. Something that I have to keep in mind is my dad's birthday is the 3rd of December and Taylor's birthday is Boxing Day. So I also have two birthdays to buy for. There's also Jensen's birthday on the 29th of November. So there's a lot going on at this time of year. I look a little bit like an egg but I just thought I would show you because I've spoke quite a bit about like Christmassy vibes lately in the vlogs. I just thought I would show you that I today am a little bit in the spooky season vibe because my socks are a little bit of like a spooky season and I also just realised that my entire outfit is black and purple. <laughs> I've got a white top on underneath just for an extra added layer because I was a bit cold but I'm wearing all black and purple today. It's a little bit late now and I've just caught you just before the sun goes down. Um, it's about to start getting dark, it's five past six but I just wanted to show you this. Oh, you didn't, <laughs> you didn't have to put your head up Gingy. Were you sleeping? He's like, yeah, I'm going back to sleep, bye. He looks so cute on this bed. So my plan for the rest of the evening is I'm going to get in the shower. And then um, after that, I want to work on a couple of days of peach toba so that I can be a little bit ahead with it, like a little bit in front. Um, so I want to work on a couple of those. I was trying to show you that his face was under his paw and that's like his way of being like, do not disturb, but he moved. Please excuse what my hair looks like right now. Um, it's still a little bit damp from the shower and it's actually ready for a cut already. It's getting a bit too long now. Um, but I am just coming to end this vlog here because all I'm gonna do for the rest of the night is draw some peach toe, draw some peach toe drawings. Um, work on a few more of those. Yeah, nothing else really is gonna happen. So um, 
I'm gonna end this vlog here. Good morning you guys and welcome to day seven of vlogtober. You may notice from this video that you're watching that today's vlog and yesterday's vlog are actually paired together. When I asked on my Instagram story how long people would want the videos to be, people did say that they were okay with anything longer than five minutes. And yesterday's vlog came to just over five minutes and I did consider uploading it by itself. I just thought it's one of the slower days that we've had and I don't think it would be very interesting. So I decided to pair yesterday and today together because I'm also not sure how long today's vlog is going to be. Also, I'm probably going to be talking a bit funny today because I've got an ulcer. Like, on the inside of my lip right at the bottom. Also, my lip looks really fat. But yeah, I've got an ulcer. And it's so, so, oh, so, so, so. Today's plans, I want to upload Peachtober in a second. And then I want to work on some thumbnails for a vlogmas intro i've got an idea so i want to work on it i think i want to um draw the thumbnails traditionally i can turn it into an animation afterwards and yeah i guess it's gonna be another day of just seeing where the day takes me but i have no like solid plans of what i want to do with the day okay so a slight change of plans for the day Katie just messaged me, asked me if I wanted to go for food and coffee, and I'm not going to say no. So, um, I'm going to get ready now, and then when my dad's just finished what he's doing, I'm going to ask him to let me out in the car, because his car's blocking mine on the driveway. Going out the house with your bed socks on, going out the house with your bed socks on, going out the house with your bed socks on, going out the house with your bed socks on. Um, I would show you an outfit of the day today, and evidently I am, because I'm pointing the camera at the mirror. But I'm literally just wearing my all black tracksuit. It's got a hoodie and matching joggers. So I just had to run in and save Katie's piercing, but now we're at Taco Bell for something to eat. But before we go inside, I just wanted to show Katie some of And I thought I'd film it because I just know her reaction. I'm <laughs> anticipating a reaction. Look what I've put in car. <laughs> Katie's been telling me for the longest time. It's too early for Christmas music, it's too early for Christmas music. But you know what, now she's got it. Let's listen to some Christmas music. <laughs> so I've caved, and now we've got the Christmas music in the car. <laughs> so. Oh no, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to listening to some Christmas music now. Do you have a favourite Christmas song? It's either, it depends what mood I'm in. I've got like a favourite like upbeat Christmas song. I've got a favourite like chilled yeah. Christmas song. My favourite chilled Christmas song is Christmas Lights by Coldplay. I knew there were a Coldplay song, but I just couldn't remember which one it was like. <laughs> yeah, and then my favourite like upbeat one is Step Into Christmas by Elton John. I do like that. I also like Santa Claus is Coming to Town just because yeah. of childhood memories. I didn't realise that Jackson 5 song <coughs> for so long. And I yeah, like, I think you mentioned that the other day like, about Jackson 5. Um, I, I remember singing Little Donkey a lot when I was little. <laughs> Yeah, I think they're my uh, they're my go-tos, depending on what mood. What oh, mood I'm in and what mood I'm going one, is it? It's very underrated though. I never hear no, anyone mention that song. It. I don't hear it that often either. I'm waiting for TikTok to start doing my step into the Christmas. Yeah. It's like having and Stacey sort of. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go get food. Yes. So I'm back home now. I dropped Katie off at home after taking her to the reptile shop for some food for her zoo of animals that she has at home. No, she's got um, snakes, a chameleon, a gecko. I'm not clued up on the reptiles, so. Now I'm gonna get on with what I said I was gonna do earlier, which is work on the Vlogmas intro. So I know the concept that I want to do, but um, I kind of need to put that down to see if it works but before I go onto my animation software and see if it actually flows I'm gonna plan out in my sketchbook what frames I actually want so like the key frames um, and then I know kind of what story I'm trying to tell even though I've got a loose idea putting it on paper always makes it a bit clearer so that's what I'm gonna do now 
I was originally going to go and sit at my desk to work on the Vlogmas intro and sit in what I refer to as my art corner. It's where I keep all of my art supplies and stuff. But I've got a few things on the desk at the minute and there's like no room for me to sit, put my laptop on there and all of that kind of stuff. So I've decided I'm going to sit on my bed to work on it because I actually have this which is actually a little desk that my dad made for me so that I can go on my laptop and draw and all of that kind of stuff when I'm laid in bed. It's big enough for me to put my laptop on, draw, sketch and all of that kind of stuff. Also, when I do these thumbnails for the Vlogmas intro, usually I would just keep them really simple and really basic, but I also want to kind of test out some colours and all of that kind of stuff. So I've got out my gorgeous set of Faber-Castell polychromos. If you're not into art, that's probably not going to mean anything to you hearing that name. But um, yeah, I bought this set of polychromos last year, I think. And let me open up this case and just show you these. Anyone who likes stationery or is into kind of aesthetic looking things, you're probably going to like this. So, How stunning are these sets of pencils? This is the 120 set. I don't believe I mentioned how many it was. Um, it's the 120 set. And I bought these because I really wanted some decent grade pencils um, to use like in my sketchbook or when I draw or anything. Uh, but also I'm really into like adult colouring books and that kind of thing. So um, I also wanted some pencils that would give me like a decent chance at creating something nice. Um, and I was tossing and turning between the Faber-Castell ones and the... I always forget the name, the Prismacolor ones. And even though I have these ones, I am still interested in the Prismacolor ones because sometimes um, in pencil sets you do get varying colours, like you do get different shades and um, even though they might be a similar pencil, they're not always the exact same. I'm obviously not in a rush for them, I have all of these to hand. But yeah, they are something I've got my eye on. Also, I've heard that the Prismacolors are a little bit easier to blend because I believe they're a wax pencil. If you're not into art or anything, this is really not gonna make any sense to you, but um, I am very precious about them. I'm so nervous for when they like are completely gone or like I'm missing colours because <laughs> they're completely gone. Um, and some of the colours are more worn down than others. Uh, like I have got use out of some colours more than others but a lot of the pencils are still pretty full. I'm gonna work on some Vlogmas intro stuff now and I'll update you in a little while. So I think I'm actually gonna end this vlog here because it is actually getting a bit later now as you are probably gonna be able to tell from the lighting. A bit of time has passed since I last spoke to you um, and I don't really see much else happening tonight. I felt so underlyingly tired, like I don't feel tired as in like go and get in bed and go to sleep but just underlying there's been like something. But yes, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Um, Obviously it was two days paired together so I really hope that you liked both days. Um, And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again tomorrow.